praise the Lord, saints of the Most High God. It is time to praise the Lord with Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We welcome you in Jesus' name. It truly is a blessing that God has had you to tune into the Hewitt channel today. Hallelujah. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Again, hallelujah, God is so worthy to be praised. The Bible says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Today, we're going to exalt the name together. Let's go before the throne. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father God, first of all, forgive us for all of our sins. Strengthen us where we're weak. Father God, we thank you and praise you that this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we just love you, we glorify you, we magnify you, for truly you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father God and Lord, I thank you for you being Lord of my life right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you that every need is already met in Christ Jesus. Father God, we thank you for divine health. For truly, you said by Jesus' stripes, we're already healed. And Father God, we thank you for the healing virtue taking place this day in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Once again, my name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. Our ministry is MCN Ministry, Bible Way LA. We're located in Los Angeles, California. And if you want to visit our website, please go to www.bryanthewitt.com. And it will truly be a blessing if you want to see it into this ministry. For truly, we're going to the four winds of the earth, wherever the Lord is sending us. We are going, so we bless God for that. So if you want to write a check, please make it payable to MCN Ministry. You will truly be blessed. Amen. Now we're going to go into taming the tongue. The Lord has blessed me for us to start a series and continue in the series of taming the tongue, this unruly member. The foundational scripture is found in James 3, verses 1 through 12. I would like for you to read it at your leisure, but I want you to get your Bible because today we're going to talk about the hasty tongue. A hasty tongue. What does that mean? My God, a hasty tongue. And what does the word of God say about a hasty tongue? A hasty tongue is someone that, that just blurts out without thinking, giving no thought to what they say. And we're talking about taming the tongue. We talked about in the book of James where it talks about this unruly member. Who could tame it? No man could tame it. Isn't it amazing that we could tame every animal but we cannot tame our tongue? What's wrong with this picture? So we're talking today about the hasty tongue. The hasty tongue is someone that will just blurt out without thinking. And that is a danger because we have to watch what we say because we will have whatever we say. And let's get into the word. Please get your Bible or get a pen and a piece of paper and write it down. For truly, this is so important. Now, I'm going to read from a different version of the Bible, but the Word of God is still true. So please turn with me to Proverbs 21 and 23. Whoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. In other words, it is wonderful for you not to be so hasty because of if you keep your mouth quiet, most cases you will not get yourself in trouble. I remember my mother used to say, Anita, your mouth is going to get you in trouble. And sure enough, it did. But we must learn to bridle this tongue. We must learn not to be so quick to speak. The Bible says, be quick to listen and slow to speak. Isn't it amazing, saints of the Most High God, we have it twisted. We say that we blurt it out without really hearing what was really said, and then you can't take back the words because the words are already out. We live in a voice-activated system, saints of the Most High God. If God spoke everything into existence and God is saying greater works shall we do, don't you know we have power in the tongue? We have power in the tongue to either bless or to curse. So we must be slow to speak. We don't need to be so hasty to get it up and out of my mouth. Oh, oh, I just had to get it off my heart. I just had to tell you a thing of three. But don't you know when you go off and when you 
start blurting words that you're not thinking about. Don't you know that you're killing someone? And you can take this tongue and you can kill this person and the person will never recover. Saints of the Most High God. So we must be careful about what we say. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. My God, death and life. So we can either speak blessings or we can speak cursing. We can either bridle our tongue and hold our peace because everything that comes to our mind is not always expedient for us to say. And we're talking today about that hasty tongue. That hasty tongue is a, is a person that just blurts out words, just blurts out. I don't care. What, well, look, I just had to tell you what was on my mind right now. But what's on your mind may not be good for someone to hear right now because your tongue could be as a sword piercing someone's heart. And we have to be accountable for our actions because we will stand before a just judge. We know that that's Jesus. And we have to give account of every idle word we say. So saints of the most high God, we're talking about bridling the tongue. I can't be so hasty and never do anything in haste because whenever you do things in haste, you're moving on emotions you're not moving in christ jesus because when you have a situation that needs an answer or that needs something to be done lord take time and ask the lord what shall i do how shall i handle this situation and god will tell you how to do it but if you do it in haste you're moving in emotions and god is not in it and 95 percent of the time i would say 99.9 .9 of the time we always get ourselves in trouble because we didn't seek the Lord and because we did everything in haste and we're not supposed to do that. My God. So turn with me to first Peter three and 10 for whosoever desireth to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. My God, hallelujah. When you learn to bridle your tongue, you will see many days. We just read that if we bridle our tongue, we keep ourselves out of trouble. See, we need to stay out of trouble, saints of the most high God. And this unruly member will get us in trouble when we want to just go off, when we just want to tell you just what I really feel about you. Don't you know that you're killing that person? You could kill that person, my God. Saints of the Most High God, we cannot be held accountable. We, we cannot be named among us because we are going to be held accountable for the words that we say, my God. And again, we must be careful because we must hold our, we must bridle our tongue. I can't tell you enough of saying, we must bridle the tongue because this tongue is full of deadly poison. And turn with me to James 3 and 8. But no human being can tame this tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. My God, please watch your mouth, saints of the Most High God. We cannot be so hasty. We cannot be so quick to say what's, you know, give you a thing or three, what's really on my mind. Because, hallelujah, you got to realize that you're hurting the person and you got to stand accountable for the words that you say before God. Hallelujah. And we must be careful because our mouth, we can either bless or we can curse. We can send healing to someone or we can speak death to them. And we must be careful. We cannot, even when we get angry, hallelujah. And in most cases, when we get angry, hallelujah, we don't think and we just say what's on our mind because it comes out of anger. And don't you know, you will have whatever you speak. So, it really behooves us when we get angry for us to be silent and hear from God. 
God, help me. Don't let me say anything, Lord Jesus, that I might have to eat my own words. Hallelujah. And don't you know, you will eat your own words. You will say things in anger that you really don't mean, and then you can't take them back. Don't you know, I want to let you know about this hasty tongue. Hallelujah. The danger of a hasty tongue is that when we're angry, and we can be angry with our children, and we say we spew all this evil. Hallelujah. Even though you may tell your child, I'm sorry, baby mama lost her cool. But don't you know that it stays in, it stays in a person's spirit. Hallelujah. Don't you know your words hit harder than a fist. So we must not be so quick to say. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. Hallelujah. And let your words be seasoned with love. Hallelujah. It isn't what you say. It's how you say it. Saints of the Most High God, I want you to understand. It isn't what you say. It's how you say it. You can say anything, but if you season it with love, hallelujah, it will be a blessing. Hallelujah. So we must learn to season our words with love. And when we get angry, the Bible says anger, but sin not. The, the, the sin is not in getting angry, but we just don't go that extra mile because God knows that he created humans. He created us that we will lose our temper along this Christian walk, but we don't sin. Hallelujah. And we must bridle our tongue in the time of anger because we cannot take back those words after they spew out of our mouths we can't take them back and we must understand out of the heart flows the issues of life hallelujah out of the heart the mouth speaks so it, what's in your heart today is the word of god in your heart because if the word of god is in your heart word is going to come out if junk is in your heart junk is going to come out it's just as plain and simple as that saints of the most high god because out of the out of your heart flows the issues of life hallelujah so we must be careful that we don't get hasty and start talking too quick hallelujah i don't want to be i don't want to just blurt out some words because i'm angry or because i just want to let you know how i feel right now but we must be careful hallelujah because we will have what we speak hallelujah turn with me to james 1 and 26 if anyone thinks that he's religion and does not bridle his tongue hallelujah but deceives his heart his this person's religion is worthless meaning if i don't hold my peace if i don't get be need to be quiet hallelujah i don't want to say what would really what i really want to say hallelujah i ask you god to bridle my tongue because if you don't hold a tight rein of your tongue your religion is worthless saints of the most high god we don't want our good to be evil spoken of hallelujah a good name is far better than silver and gold saints of the most high god so we must learn to not be not have that hasty tongue that quick tongue that quick tongue that will tell you things and this tongue will chop you up hallelujah into chop suey hallelujah and we cannot do that because we have to stand before a just judge hallelujah turn with me to matthew 36 hallelujah i tell you on the day of judgment people will give an account to every care careless word they speak my god saints of the most high god i want you to know that you have to answer before a just judge hallelujah you have to give an account as for what you say and how you say it my god hallelujah we must be careful we cannot have that sharp tongue we cannot have that one that will just go off hallelujah at a drop of a hat 
what is wrong with the saints of the most high God. Hallelujah. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Certain things I used to do in the street, I don't do now because I'm in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't you know that James was talking to the church? He's talking to the saints. Hallelujah. The blood bought oil slinging, Bible toting, anointed men and women, and that with fire. Hallelujah. He's talking to us. Hallelujah. So let that not be named among us, that we're not so quick to speak. Hallelujah. But slow to speak and quick to listen. Hallelujah. And we must work on that because, hallelujah, I might have been used up telling you how I feel. Hallelujah, but it's not always expedient what God wants you to say. Hallelujah, sometimes God reveals things, prayer warrior, for you to pray about, not for you to talk about, not for you to fuss about, not for you to say things right off the top of your head. Hallelujah, but glory to God. But today I hear the word of God, and God, I don't want to, I don't want to bring a shame onto you. Father God, he made us vessels. Are you a vessel of honor or are you a vessel of dishonor? Hallelujah. And only you can answer that. Hallelujah. And if you don't know the Lord as your personal savior. Hallelujah. Now is the time to get it right with God. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is coming back. No man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming. We must be rapture ready. We must be, hallelujah, in a perpetual state of repentance. Father God, work on me. Bright on my tongue, God. Because, God, I'm quick to go there, whatever my there is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, work on me right now. God, I need you. I need patience. Hallelujah, I'm tired of leaning on to my own understanding. God, I want to lose my mind and have the mind of Christ. Glory to God, and the only way you can do that is when you know the Lord as your personal Savior. Hallelujah, turn with me to Romans 10. We're going to start at verse 9 through 13. Hallelujah. That if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Amen. For there is no difference between Jew and Greek. The same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Hallelujah. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Aren't you glad you tuned into the Hewitt channel today for you to hear this rhema word of Lord work on this unruly member of mine. God, I don't want to be, I don't want to have a hasty tongue. God, I don't want to have a hasty tongue where I just want to, I, I just can't control it. God, I need you to come into my life and help me take full control. Will you please repeat this prayer after me? Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to him and ask him to send the Holy Spirit into my life, take full control, and help me to become the person you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. Pastor Brian and myself, we're rejoicing with you. Welcome to the body of Christ. You've taken the most important step. Hallelujah. And you gave your life to the Lord today. Now the next thing is that you ask God to lead and guide you to a church where God wants you to attend, where you can get strengthened in the word of God. Hallelujah. Once again, we love you. And when you and if you dedicated your life to the Lord, please visit our website at brianhewitt.com. Hallelujah. And let us know that you gave your life to the Lord. And if you need a Bible, please let us know that. If you want to see it into the ministry, please click on the donation button and fill out the application. The donation 
section of it. And if you want to write a check, please make it payable to MCN Ministry. You will truly be blessed. Hallelujah. We're talking about the hasty tongue. Hallelujah. And we must be careful that, hallelujah, that we don't fall in that category of having a hasty tongue. My God, because we must be careful. Hallelujah. Because, my God, we must watch what we say. Saints of the Most High God, I have never heard so much stuff come out of the blood bought saints of the Most High God. Lord, work on us today, Father God, because you said all have sinned and came short of the glory of God. That's Romans 3, 23. Hallelujah, but glory to God. Hallelujah, we must not be caught up in what we feel. Hallelujah, and as we get caught up, we end up saying words that we don't mean. Hallelujah, turn with me to Proverbs 18 and 13. Hallelujah, if one gives an answer before his heart, he is, it is he foolishly and shame. Hallelujah, my God, he's full of folly and shame. Hallelujah, that means foolishness. Hallelujah, if a man just blurts out an answer, hallelujah, off of the top of his head, hallelujah, not seeking God, hallelujah, it will bring shame. Hallelujah. In most cases, it will bring shame. Hallelujah. And it's, and it's not edifying the Father. Glory to God. And we must be careful what we say, saints of the Most High God, because you don't know who's listening to you. You don't know who's watching you. You may be the only Christ Jesus that someone may see. And can you draw them to Christ or can you repel them to Christ? My God, hallelujah, it is what we say. It's how we carry ourselves, saints of the Most High God. We must be careful because the charge on our life is great. Hallelujah, the call on our life is great. God bought you with, a, with the precious blood of Jesus. Your life is not your own. Hallelujah, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, so we must take good care of this temple. Saints of the Most High God, we must know that God loves you. Hallelujah, God loved you so much. He gave you a word today as for us to watch our mouth. I don't want to be hasty in what I say, Lord. Let me be slow to speak and quick to listen. Hallelujah, let me not go there so quickly, God. Hallelujah, give me patience, God, and I need them today. Lord, not tomorrow, right now. Hallelujah. I need you now. Hallelujah. And aren't you glad we serve a risen Savior that is a now God? Because God says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God. Hallelujah for this word. We thank God that we're not hasty anymore. I might have been quick to say hallelujah I, I might have been quick to even go there hallelujah wherever you're there is hallelujah but today now that I heard the word of God I don't want to fall into that category of foolish people hallelujah I don't want to fall into the category of folly hallelujah I don't want to fall into the category of disobedience hallelujah glory to God I need you Lord, I need you to work on this tongue. Lord Jesus, put a guard over my mouth and my tongue. Hallelujah. Lord, that I may not say anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we magnify God, hallelujah, all the other stuff goes out the door. Hallelujah. When you start magnifying God, hallelujah, glory to God. You got to remember death and life is in the power of the tongue. Hallelujah. And those that love it will eat the fruit thereof. So if I'm speaking damnation to my family and church and love and loved ones and everything, hallelujah, you're going to reap whatever you sow. Hallelujah. That 
parable, hallelujah, that precept is true. Whatever you sow, that you shall reap. Hallelujah. And right now we need to be praying for a crop failure because I know we probably planted some things. Hallelujah. I don't want to spring back up. God, work on me today, God. Let me be all that you called me to be. Hallelujah. Because, God, I don't want to fall into that category of a hasty tongue. Hallelujah. I want to be slow to speak, quick to listen. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, and if I'm not, work on me now. Hallelujah. Because you said all things, and behold, all things have passed away. Behold, all things became new. Hallelujah. And today we're a new creature in Christ. Hallelujah. I thank God for the word. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is the only thing that's going to keep us. So today we talked about a hasty tongue. We talked about that tongue. Hallelujah. That hasty tongue. We must be careful. We must bridle our tongue. And if we say we're religion and if we don't, if we say we're religious, with all the titles, with all the DDs, I'm evangelist, doctor, first lady, prophetess, uh, um, pastor, evangelist, Anita L. Hewitt. And if I don't bridle my tongue, if I don't have that, if I don't restrain this hasty tongue, then my religion is worthless. Hallelujah. And I don't want to miss the mark. I don't want, hallelujah, to be preaching and teaching and fasting and laying before God. Hallelujah. And my soul get lost. The Bible says, what does a man profit to win the whole world and lose his very own soul? Or what will a man do in exchange? Hallelujah. Saints of the Most High God, we cannot water down the word of God. We cannot exchange. We cannot compromise because God's word says what he means and means what he says. Hallelujah. And for that, we must preach the uncut version of the word of God. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus, work on this untamed tongue. Work on this tongue that want to just say stuff without seeking God. Hallelujah. Let your words be seasoned with love. Hallelujah. And for that, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray out. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father God, we love you and we praise God. We thank God for the rhema word today. Today's word was a hasty tongue, a hasty tongue. Hallelujah. Work on me today. Work on me. Hallelujah. Lord, you have no respect to person. What you've done for me, you'll do for others. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that the word of God has has not fell upon death ears, but it has accomplished that it was sent to do. And Father God, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory in Jesus' name. Tune back in at 6 o'clock p.m., where my husband, Pastor Brian, is teaching out of the book of Revelations. Hallelujah. Get ready to be blessed. So until we meet again, may God bless you and keep you. Amen.